Special Coordination in Synchrotron. Go to the Navigator tab and open Dynamic Flash Detection under 4D Visualization. Dynamic Flash Detection module checks your model for clashes between elements or traits. In order to start working with Dynamic Flash Detection, let's create a new test. Make a right click in this field and select Add. Now we're going to set up our test. So go down to the options below selected test. We have a show dropdown which will filter out this list of tests according to the company by which this test was created. But for us, it will be all. Then let's go down. And here we can trace the logic, how this module working. So we have to define what to test and how to test. Let's expand the first dropdown. The first is show current dates to use. Right now we're using baseline dates. Let's change the dates to use in 3D view from baseline to best and select here best. Then we go to the mode. So here we have focus time, 4D or entire project, or we can set up a time range. Let's go one by one. So the first one, focus time, we all remember this red dashed line. So this is the focus time. As we drag it along the Gantt chart, we can select a proper day and time. And as we set up the focus time, the test will be applied on this moment. If you select 4D, then entire project from start to end will be taken into consideration. And the last option is time range. So we have from date and to date active now. And you can define a time range and within these time frames, this test will be performed. Let's select focus time, snapshot. Let's go down and we see the 3D objects. Or we choose what to test. So now when all 3D objects selected, then Synchro will take into consideration all 3D objects. However, you can also select objects to test. Like we can select these walls and the floor. If we go down to the second dropdown or how to test, here we have a set of rules. The first one is the type of the test, the soft or hard. The soft means the space between two objects should be more than it was defined in the clearance box. So if it's less than that value, so this will be considered as a clash. And the hard means the penetration of two objects into each other. We can set up the tolerance for, uh, in our case it's hard clash, like it will be the tin. Then define units, millimeters, centimeters, meters, and so on. It will be meters in my case. This tick box next to ignore objects in the same file simply means objects that are having a mutual ancestor will be ignored from the clash test. And in case if you are having a 3D path or some moving equipment, then you can set up the sampling step and units. All right, so everything is set. Let's do the test, new special test. And we will be testing the selected 3D objects with heart and tolerance will be 15 millimeters. Let's make a right click over the test name and then select run test. The special test complete, no clashes were found. That's good. Let's test something else, like we have in these caps here and the slab. Let's make a test again, run test. And now Synchro found 30 clashes. We can manipulate this window to see where is the clash. So the first one is here. The second one should be here. You can also read the 3D object names and the tasks to which these resources belong to. You can make a right click and select a proper camera view or a viewpoint. You can readjust render mode, add some visual indicators, like axis indicator. These columns are adjustable, so making a right click or headings, you can add some more information. Let's add IDs, for example, for both first and second object. 
and this can be exported as a report so we can print or export it so let's see the both for example for the print just go to the preview if it's not good enough just adjust the layout make it our actual size it looks better this can be printed out as a report or we can export some clashes as 3d pdf click or export and we have a type as 3d pdf let's save it <laughs> 